Hello there, welcome to Taipei, Taiwan, and this is the presidential building. Uh, probably the most important building in the whole country. Hello, sticker reds. And flags all over Taiwan are at half mast today for the victims of the Taiwan earthquake devastation in Tainan, particularly this one building where 116 people were found dead. Uh, as a result of the uh, terrible earthquake here. Uh, but pretty much the only building uh, in Taiwan that saw that kind of destruction. So it's uh, definitely under investigation. They've arrested uh, one of the original developers and now there's concern about uh, other buildings in Taiwan not being safe. Uh, this country has uh, seen a lot of rapid growth over the decades, so there was a lot of rules and regulations that weren't in place when a lot of these buildings were uh, constructed. So there is a question now about the safety of some of these buildings here in Taiwan being on a fault zone or in a very high earthquake uh, prone area uh, does raise a lot of concern. This is John Sabo, Far East Adventure Travel outside the presidential building here in Taipei. And this was uh, once the governor's building of uh, Taiwan when Taiwan was a colony of Japan. And just down the street from here is the mansion where the governor used to live. And uh, the president doesn't live there, I understand. They have a, another residence for him. But this is the uh, office of the president here. Well, I hope they get it all sorted out as well. It's a terrible tragedy. It's one of the worst uh, in, in, uh, in, in recent years in Taiwan, that's for sure. The last uh, devastating earthquake here saw 2,400 deaths in 1999. And of course, they flew the flags at half-mast back then. I don't know if they have done this since. Uh, but today, uh, and particularly all over Taiwan, uh, with the office buildings and government buildings, all flags are flying at half-mast in memory of the victims of uh, Tainan uh, devastation and uh, the earthquake that happened here several days ago. Thanks for the hearts. Um, everybody's back to work today in Taiwan. Uh, everybody had the week off last week for Lunar New Year, Chinese New Year. So people have got the, uh, uh, people are back in work. Uh, it would have been right after World War II. So 1945, uh, Japan, uh, under their treaty, had to hand back uh, Taiwan to China at the time uh, was the Republic of China. So when the, uh, the people that were running the Republic of China uh, fled mainland China when they were losing the civil war there. They came here and kept that government going. So that's why Taiwan is, is really separate from China. It's, it's really still a, almost like a ceasefire that's, that's uh, happened here uh, many years ago. Taiwan has its own army and force. This is the presidential building, the office of the president of uh, Taiwan. and. Uh, People here are looking at the uh, half-mast flag today in memory of the victims of the earthquake devastation in Tainan, particularly this one building where they found 116 people uh, dead and uh, I think well over 500 injured uh, as a result of uh, this earthquake. And uh, there you have it. They have lots of security all around this building. And if you're walking on the other side of the street, the same side of the street as the building, you're asked to uh, keep walking. You're not allowed to stop to take photographs on that side. You can't take photographs from where I'm at, but just on the side of the uh, building, it's uh, well enforced. They have security everywhere. Um, and uh, I'm gonna just take a walk back down through this other section where I'm gonna go and have a coffee in a bit. Uh, well, I'm based out of Taiwan. I live here part-time and I travel all over Asia. I am a travel broadcast journalist and I produce a couple of uh, podcasts um, uh, called Far East Adventure Travel and uh, they're both featured on iTunes. One's a video podcast and one is a uh, audio podcast which I just uploaded something on the uh, Nepal earthquake as a matter of fact uh, that happened last year and my visits there uh, is up on uh, Far East Adventure Travel on iTunes right now. 
this is uh, um, all this area around here is like a lot of office of the ministry, different ministries. Uh, oh, that's so nice of you to say thank you, my friend. Um, these, this is a lot. So a lot of government buildings around here. A lot of these were built uh, during uh, the Japanese era. So uh, lots of uh, Japanese colonial style buildings. Some really nice uh, offices around here, and we're also close by uh, Chiang Kai-shek uh, Memorial Hall and Liberty Square Park there as well. And uh, so this is a really probably the center of power of Taiwan right here. No, Ta China does not recognize Taiwan as independent. China recognizes Taiwan as the 23rd province of, of the People's Republic of China. And uh, if you actually, if you watch any Chinese television, uh, oh, it's a good question. I'll, I'll answer some of those questions about Asia. Yeah, uh, if you watch Chinese television, when they do the weather, they always include Taiwan in, in the, uh, the, the color scheme of uh, the southern province, which is very interesting. Uh, I, I love, there's lots of Asian cities I love. This is uh, this building here, just to, just to take a break for a sec. This is where um, the governor of Taiwan used to live. It's a beautiful big mansion. Of course, I've never been invited. I don't know why. I haven't been invited, but I haven't. Uh, but it, it's a reception area now, and they have meetings there. Uh, but at one time, when Japan was a colony, of uh, Taiwan. This is where the, the, the governor of Taiwan lived, but the, the president of Taiwan does not live there anymore. And then you can see more offices here and uh, the flags all flying at half mast today. Oh, you're welcome. My pleasure. Thank you for joining me here in Taipei. So lots of office buildings around here, lots of ministries uh, around here, and uh, the flags, as you can see, all flying uh, half mast today uh, in memory of the uh, earthquake victims. And um, some kids are getting out for school. All the kids here wear uniforms. It's cold. It has gotten cold again in uh, Taipei. We're dropping down to, I think, maybe 10 or 11 today. So I'm all bundled up again. You know, I went for a bike ride on Saturday, and it was beautiful. I rode my bike up to Danshui, which is right on the Danshui River, and it, it kind of opens up into the Pacific Ocean, and it was such a beautiful day. I rode my bike up there, a two-, three-hour ride. Lots of fun. Uh, but now it's freezing cold here again. Uh, and some of my favorite Asian cities, I have so many, but I, I love Tokyo and Kyoto and Taipei and uh, Vientiane, Lao, Phnom Penh. I haven't been to Shanghai. I, I have been to China before. I've been to Beijing and Tibet. I have not been to Shanghai. I've been kind of putting that one off, but I, I do want to get there. Um, I, I've traveled extensively around Southeast Asia. Last year I was in about, I think about seven different countries altogether. I don't, I'm not, I, I mean, this is where I'm focused on my writing and work is, is in this part of the world. So this is where I mostly travel. Um, so last year I was in India for one month as well, and I was in Nepal for over a month. And I'm just getting ready to go to Thailand next month, and I'll spend a few weeks in Thailand and maybe a couple of other countries while I'm in that part of the world. And uh, right now this is Taipei, and I'm just taking a walk here next to the Peace Memorial Park and um, some of the uh, office buildings and uh, uh, ministry offices here that are flying their flags half mass today for um, uh, the, the uh, memory of the uh, earthquake victims, 116 dead uh, from this basically mostly with the exception of two deaths from the, uh, the, the building that fell and collapsed in uh, Tainan. So it's uh, about getting close to five o'clock here in the afternoon, and uh, it has gotten quite cold. This is the uh, National Taiwan University Hospital uh, over there. It's a really beautiful building, again, done in the Japanese colonial style. And uh, the red brick is very prominent, and the columns in the front. It is uh, really doesn't look like a hospital when you look at it, uh, but it's a teaching hospital. And uh, give me a shout out where you are. I think I answered those questions. Somebody asked me about my favorite cities in in Asia. I, I just I try to get to the west. Maybe well, I, I was in, in. I'm from Canada. I got back there last year for a few weeks. Um, so maybe, you know, once a year, I try to get 
back, but I'm, I'm mostly here. Uh, this is where my work is and my home. You're in Los Angeles. Oh, very cool. Well, that's a, I haven't been there in years, but it's a major city. You need a car for sure to get around there. Uh, and the, the lovely thing about Taipei is you don't. You can get around pretty much on public transit and very convenient, easy public transit. Um, and this is convenience uh, city for sure. Everything here is super convenient. There's washrooms everywhere. There's restaurants, food stalls, places you can sit, take a break. Lots of air conditioned places as well, which is very handy when it is hot here. And it does get hot here for many, most of the year, it's very hot here. Um, so give me a shout out where you are. I'd love to say hi to you. Uh, so hello, Los Angeles. And uh, just walking along the streets here and I'm gonna head inside for a coffee soon. These orange bikes here, part of the city bike program. Hey, Toronto, Canada, how are you? That's a great city. Um, this is a city bike program. They, they have these all over the world. This one's very effective here. Lots of people use it. They're not using it today, as you can see. There's lots of bikes here, but uh, it's really easy. You have a, a pass card that you just swipe, uh, and that unlocks the bike. And cold, but good. Oh, good. Uh, that unlocks the bike, and then it times you. And then when you go, you just drop it off at another station around Taipei, and uh, and then it, it then you get charged, and it's very very low cost. Uh, the, the, it's such a successful program that on weekends it's very hard to find a bike sometimes. So thank you so much for joining me here in Taipei. Just a quick scope. Oh, that's very good. Well, bike shares are great. They're great for everybody, for the for the city, for pollution, cutting down on pollution and getting people outdoors is really a good thing. So I just wanted to do a quick, quick scope to uh, show you that today is a very a uh, mournful day here in Taipei as people remember the victims of uh, this terrible earthquake uh, tragedy here. And uh, I will come back to you again soon. Thank you so much. From Taipei, Taiwan, it's John Sabo. Xie Bye-bye.